Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can use the t-test in order to compare the means of two groups. So the application of t-test here is to look at differences between two groups on some variable of interest. So we're having the following question. Do males and females differ in the amount of time they spend shopping in a given day? And we're having the data, time spent shopping in minutes for males, and for females. Before you run any statistical test, you must first determine your alpha level. And here it's 0 0.05, also 5%. It's also called the significance level. By definition, alpha level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. In other terms, it's the probability of making a wrong decision. So here it's important for us to know what's a null hypothesis. A null hypothesis is a general statement that there is no relationship between two measured phenomena or association among groups. In our case, it means there is no difference in time between the average, spend, the average time spent by males in shopping and the average time spent by females to shop. So here we can see that the null hypothesis or H0, the average time for males equal the average time for females. And like this, we can say that there is no difference. In contrast, the alternative hypothesis states that there is a certain form of relationship. And here, the first case we're having, it's a two-tailed test. Why it's a two-tailed test? Because it includes the symbol different. It means it doesn't specify a direction, whether it's a greater or less. So like this, we are not interested in knowing who's spending more time, but we are interested to know that if there is a difference or not. Graphically, the, D, the, the T distribution, it's similar to the normal distribution. However, it's fatter on the tails. And because it's a two-tailed test, it means the alpha is distributed on uh, the two tails that we're having here. The area here in white, it's the area for the null hypothesis. And the area here, it's the area for the alternative hypothesis. On the other hand, we're having also the one-tailed test of hypothesis. And here we're, you can see that the alternative hypothesis, the average time spent by males is less than females or is greater than uh, females. So, a, and this is a two-tailed test of hypothesis in which the alternative hypothesis include uh, the symbol greater than or less than. So you're having a direction and here I'm interested to know if the time spent by males is less or if it's greater. So graphically, you can see that alpha, it's from one side. So the null hypothesis, the region of null hypothesis, it's here. And the region of the alternative hypothesis, it's here. The same if it was greater. So you're having in white the null hypothesis and in blue the alternative hypothesis. The last thing that we have to know before that we run our test is the p-value. A p-value is a number between 0 and 1. It's easier to think of it as a percentage used to make the rejection or uh, acceptance decision. So here, in a simple way, if the p-value is greater than alpha, the 5%, we do not reject the H0. It means there is no difference. If p-value is less than alpha, the 5%, we reject H0. And like this, we say that there is a relationship between the two groups. So now we will start with the easy way of doing it. So we select data, we go to data analysis, and in data analysis, we go and we select t-test assuming equal variances. The good thing about the t-test that we can use it for a small sample. So the variable range one, it's males, and we select the different data and numbers we're having. The second, for females and here the hypothesized the mean difference it's zero 
because the null hypothesis that we're having that there is no difference and we select the labels. The alpha, as we already uh, said, it's 0 0.05. And we select the output range where we want to have our results. And we click on OK. So as you can see here, you're having the maze and females, you're having 18.9 minutes, the average spent shopping for maids and 26.5 for females, the different variants we're having here, the observation we're having 17 males, 17 females, and it could be like 20 males or 25 females, it's not a problem. The pooled variance, it's the variance for both uh, samples. The hypothesized mean difference, it's zero, and we selected this. DF, it's called the degrees of freedom, and the degrees of freedom, it's calculated n minus 1. It means the n1 minus 1, 17 minus 1, 16, plus 17 minus 1 for females, 16. So the sum, it's 32. And usually, we need the degrees of freedom and the alpha if we are using the table. However, here we don't need it because we're having the p-value. As you can see, if we are working on one tail, it means we need to know whether females they spend more time than males. We look at the p-value we're having here. So as you can see, the p-value we're having here, it's 0.002. It means it's less than the alpha 5%. So like this, we can reject the null hypothesis. It means the, the average spent by females, it's greater than the average spent by males. Also, if we are using it two tails, we can check also for the p-value. And as you can see, the p-value is 0.04. It means it's less than 0.05. It means also we reject the null hypothesis. It means the average time spent by males, it's different than the average spent by females. For the, uh, like this, it's enough. But if you want to know more, also you can compare the t-stat or the statistical test that we reached. And you can compare it to the critical test to the critical one tail. So here, it's, if it's a greater, okay, it means it falls somewhere uh, here, okay, in uh, the rejection area. So because it's a greater, so we reject also the null hypothesis. And also we can compare it if we are working on the two tail. Three, it's a greater than two, so it falls somewhere uh, here in the rejection area. This is why we reject the null hypothesis and we say, that the average, spent, uh, the average time spent by males, it's different than females. So as you can see, it's easy, just if you rely on the p-value and you compare it to alpha. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for future videos.